Hi everyone, Fidi Hero here, and welcome to another Time for Two Layout video, where I bring you new layouts every once a week. Today's layout is going to be a very highly requested layout that you guys want to see me recreate into a playable role in multiplayer. He's agile, lethal, and a highly recognized pilot on the battlefield who made a name for herself on Harmony. His name is Jack Cooper. Now before Jack Cooper became a pilot, he was only a rifleman for the SRS and has seen his fair share of fights with the IMC, one being the famous refueling raid called Operation Fracture, where Jack took part in the events and was injured in the skirmish. After the first events of the game, Jack returns as a pilot in training, where he would be trained by Tai Latimosa, a veteran pilot who sees potential in the rifleman. However, all of this is stopped once the militia hit the planet Typhoon, and an oncoming threat from the IMC puts the young pilot and his dedicated Titan on the very first mission to save everyone from impending doom. Now for this loadout to be created, I had to make multiple options available to play as Jack, since all of his tacticals already have pilots that more or less do the job that Jack does. So this was kind of hard to create a singular pilot that used all of his known abilities at once. So here are the options you can go with. Your class can be either the Pulse Blade, pilot that resembles the closest to Jack in terms of human design and gear, but the tactical can be nonetheless not used throughout the loadout, so basically don't use the tactical whatsoever for him. This is to resemble Jack as a simple pilot who is always adapting on the field. On the other hand, if you want to follow his tactical abilities as a true cosplayer, then I suggest you go with both the cloak pilot and the phase pilot. The cloak pilot can be used as an active emergency cloak ability as seen in the game, while the phase pilot can act as a time gauntlet used in effecting course mission or the phase ability used by Jack in Titanfall Assault. Now I'm kind of iffy on the phase part because in the Titanfall Assault part I'm not sure if that's actually a part of him or not. I don't know if that's a phase ability that's a part of him or if that's just like a new ability that the developers of Titanfall Assault decide to add in or such or is meant to copy the time gauntlet used by Jack in the effect and cause mission. I'm not 100% sure on that part there but I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to decide on whether you want to go with that with that explanation there, or whether you want to go with something a bit more simplistic. Your primary will be the car, as is one of the most common weapons used and seen by Jack in promotional art and trailer, and also fits his playstyle of adapting and staying on the move. Your secondary will be the P2016, which is also seen in many promotional arts with Jack sporting it in a sneaking manner. Your AT weaponry will be the MGL, a quick damaging and staying on the go weapon that can be problematic for many titans trying to get away from chaotic areas. It's also great for taking on spectres and reapers as well. Your ordnance will be the standard frag grenades, which are great for cooking and taking out close and unexpected enemies charging at you. It's also great for clearing out rooms as well, but, but many of you probably know that as ready. Your boost will be the smart pistol, which is used by Jack as a last resort weaponry when he needed to escape captivity in the mission Default Weapon. While seen in one mission, he also uses it as his main primary weapon in Type 4 Assault to take out and stun other pilots in the game. Your Titan now will be BT. Okay, jokes aside, your Titan will be the Monarch Titan who is near similar to BT through design and function, except for the colour scheme which seems near impossible to achieve. There are some colours you can go with to fit it, but I found that maybe just going with whatever colour you feel feels proper for you is better off. Your Titan ability should be perks that allow you to dish out damage and adapt to situations. So Arc Rounds for more damage to shields, Mouse Storm to dish out more damage if players or titans get too close, and either, an either Superior Chassis so you can have more health and survive for longer fights, or XO16 Accelerator for increased ramp up speed and damage which can be a godsend for picking off titans from the other team, and also go with Overcore to help give you a boost to your upgrade core ability. This is probably one of the most important abilities that you should always go with. Overcore is generally needed for Monarch, since the whole point of Monarch is to adapt to changes and keep upgrading to survive as long as possible. You can always go with something else like maybe Double Smoke if you wanted to, or, e or even the Assault Chip, but I recommend that you ideally stick with Overcore. Lastly, your pilot kits should be fast regen and low profile to fit for the sneaky and adaptive role for Jack. So now playing Jack should focus pretty much on aggressive tactics, so take on everyone and everything as best as you can. But at the same time, you should be learning from your failures and adapting to changes through each match you play. Your loadout is designed to allow you to always stay on top of enemies, whether you're gunning them down with the car, ambushing other titans with your titan, 
or sneaking up on them and using your P2016 to reserve primary ammo. This is what you should be doing at all times, adapting. And this is something I believe rings true for Jack, as through his campaign we see how much he learns from different encounters and being able to take on multiple groups of enemies without so much of a struggle at times. I feel like I have achieved that with a little since you're prepared for what comes at you. For example, I've given you multiple options for the class you'll be playing as, depending on the situation you end up in. So you can either go Pulse Wave, which I went with, and rely heavily on your skills and not use your tactical whatsoever like Jack, just adapt to situation and changes. Or you can use the other two classes as mentioned and use their abilities as a key to Jack in both the campaign and Titanfall Assault. I've also given you the Smart Pistol, which can be great for building up your Titan core meter very quickly by taking on grunts and pilots if you're lucky to even manage to kill a pilot with a weapon. And once I filled up, you can go ahead and drop your Titan down for either tactical buddy action, similar to Jack and BT, or go all out survival of the fitted and survive as long as possible with your Titan, so only you remain. Overall, you should be focusing on you and only you in the battlefield, since your teammates can be helpful but can get in the way of you netting kills. They can be used as distractions though, which sounds quite evil on our own end, but you'll be doing most of the work since you'll be the one that everyone will be following and pushing up with, hopefully. So it's best to rely on them for taking the heat off you, while you go to town on taking down the grunts and spectres, and some titans as well. While taking down the grunts, spectres, reapers, titans and pilots, you can either carry on doing their numbers by using your smart pistol to prevent them from moving up, or drop your titan down and carry on filling up your titan core meter, which, which will help you out massively later on when facing other titans. And hopefully, if everything plays out, you should be the only one standing by the end of the match, with you and your beat up titan. So guys, this is my interpretation of Jack Cooper for the game. Not the best, but not the worst. I just hope that in Titanfall 3, we actually get a pilot customization to where I can truly go crazy with creating a loadout, or so to say, a pilot that moves and acts just like Jack Cooper. But for the time being, guys, this is my interpretation of Jack Cooper. A fast, lethal, and adaptive pilot on the battlefield that I find that many players will love to go ahead and play with. So go ahead, try them out and tell me in the comment section what you guys think. So that is the end of my video, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did by all means leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more. If you didn't by all means leave a dislike, I understand and I know what to improve on in the future. Also guys do remember that I do have Twitter, so I do use my Twitter to occasionally update on any news or anything that's generally happening on my side for YouTube. So if anything, I don't upload a video for an entire week or a month, and you're genuinely wondering where I am, just go onto Twitter and look from there. I usually update it every so often. So once again guys, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon.